All right, so I thought it had been a while since I made an update video on my current situation here in Melbourne. I also had a little subject that I was able to like put together with it. Here's that video, which will mainly be, like I said, an update on my current situation here in Melbourne. Let's go with the jingle. So currently I'm in Melbourne, Australia. If you don't know that, you haven't been following for a while, which is all right, but that's where I am. Mainly I am living off Uber Eats. I am doing a bit of app development. Uh, I also do a bit of work as an extra on movies. So, so far I've worked on two movies, one called Judy and Punch, it was a couple months ago. and earlier this week I worked on a movie called The Whistleblower so that's a, a nice little extra source of income since both of my main occupation which are the app development and the Uber Eats thing I'm just doing my own thing and I manage my own time so whenever they need me on movies or things like that or photo shoots and stuff I'm with an agency and they send me messages and I say yes and if I'm selected by the client then I go work and make a bit of extra money so that's nice mainly Uber Eats app development working as an extra and I would say seizing opportunities so if I see a good opportunity I'm able to seize it because I'm flexible on what I'm currently doing which also gives me a bit of time to work on my videos as you are watching one I needed time to do this anyways uh, on another topic my current state of mind on where I think I will be going forwards I don't plan on staying here in Australia after my visa uh, as a matter of fact I'm kind of like not able to accept I, w I wouldn't be able to accept a steady job right here because of some travels that I've already planned. Uh, one kind of smallish inside of Australia travel will be to Canberra. I have to go there because I need to renew my passport. I barely got into the country because it kind of like the ink just spread out and everything. It was kind of due uh, in 2019 anyway, so I, I would have had to like change it. It's just I have to do it a bit earlier because if I want to do my other travel, uh, I'll, I'll have to come back to the country. And when I got here, they told me if you don't update your, if you don't have a new passport and you keep using this one next time, we won't be okay and we won't let you in so I need to renew that passport since I have to go to Canberra to do that because they need to take my finger scan fingerprints and stuff like that take a picture of me etc I thought since I'll be halfway to Sydney I'll probably go visit Sydney my current plan would be to make a van relocation as I already did in New Zealand there's a whole bunch of possibilities to do van relocation between Melbourne and Sydney, Canberra is on the way so take a bit of a, like a three, three, four day holiday heading there coming back either by bus or by plane depending on what's uh, cheapest if it's even cheaper I don't think it would be cheaper because I have to pay for gas but uh, doing another van relocation on the other way but yeah, that's uh, it's in in the planning. I'll pro probably do that around beginning of September, which will be the opportunity for me to get out of Melbourne. 
which I haven't done so far. The big one and the reason why I need a new passport is to go to New York. I'm going in New York in December. Initial reason why I was going to New York was because I have a friend from Belgium who is celebrating his birthday between Christmas and New Year's Eve and he's turning 30 and he wants to do that in New York. So I was like, oh yeah, like I'm traveling around, uh, I'll do that. So I've already booked the plane tickets for that trip, but I didn't want to like go all the way over there for just one week since the other people that I'm seeing there will be there for only one week. So I booked my plane tickets for three weeks. So I'll be there from uh, kind of like mid-December until beginning of January. So yeah, I have that in the planning. Then I'll come back to Australia since I have a return. My plane tickets are returned from Melbourne, New York with China in between and then back. So I'll be back here for January. I'll probably work a little bit more, put more money, like enjoy the summer here in January. And then probably around February or March, if not earlier, maybe even January. January, February, March, around those part, I will fly back to Europe. I have probably a one week stay in Shanghai that I might include on my way back. So I'll fly to Shanghai and then go to Europe to see a friend in Shanghai. Then I'll be back to Europe. I'm saying that I'm coming back to Europe for one big reason is that I'll be in Belgium for a bunch of months, but I don't plan on staying there. I'll probably look for opportunities outside of Belgium. So I'll be in Europe, but not in Belgium. Like I'll be in Belgium for at least a couple months when I after I come back, but then I'll just move somewhere else because that's what I do. Anyways, all of this traveling, like I said a little bit earlier, is not enabling me to get like to commit for work, but it's also hard to commit for accommodation since I'm going away in December. Uh, I'm currently hopping from sublet to sublet. Here I'm in this place for three more weeks while the actual person who usually lives here is in Europe. And then I'll move for two weeks at a friend's place because she'll be in Germany and she'll just like, oh, you can just stay at my place for two weeks which will leave is bring me to September and then for September from September to December I have, I'm talking with a bunch of people have to figure things out but I'm planning on finding another sublet uh, so yeah that's involves a lot of moving which lead me to the topic that I wanted to show you a couple videos about which is my Hopping from place to places. I first arrived, I was in St. Kilda for couch surfing. Uh, and to make it fun, I'm using usually my electric skateboard to move from one place to another. So, what I do is I hop on a skateboard, put the suitcase, I have like those two suitcases that are just containing my stuff, my backpack, and like just spread all my stuff around. I hop on a skateboard, go there, come back, and I'll do all those things. So I've done it from St. Kilda to the CBD, then lived in the CBD for like three months. And then I did it from the CBD to North Carlton here. And I'll have to do it from North Carlton to North Fitzroy, which is pretty close, so no problem. And then I'll probably have to do it again. Yep, yeah, I'll do it, have to do it again. For another place hopefully only one other place from september to december i'm gonna leave you with some footage of me moving with my skateboard <laughs> I 
to like wait and wait for things to dry out but there was like just a small shower right before I had to leave so I kind of have to deal with that wet ground I don't like it but it's what I have to deal with it's part of the, the deal sweating a little bit but it's not that physically hard uh, I do have my elbow that hurts from yesterday but it's because I had a previous injury uh, but I could probably do it in one just one go but the fact of having to change the camera uh, position and things like that I have to admit that it helps to just like spread the load Also wanted to add a quick thing since my birthday is coming I kind of treat myself with a new gadget which should be coming I just bought it today online so I don't know when I'll get it but it will probably improve uh, the quality of my video it's a stabilizer for the GoPro so once I have that I'll make a little review of it and start filming with it and hopefully I'll have buttery smooth footage and good looking footage for you to check out. Thank you for watching. Remember that if it's easy, it's not funny. And see you in the next video.